Hi guys, welcome to this module on Microsoft Word. In this module, we're going to look at how to use the master document feature in Word. So first of all, I have a blank document which I'm going to save as a master document. So we'll call it master for this and find the folder that I've created for this exercise, which I've called it master. There we go. So I'll put it in there with these other documents. So save that. So I've created a master document. Now to use this, I need to go view and select outline and then show document. And then I have this feature of create. So I could use that feature to create a blank document, a blank structure, or this one, insert a document that I've already created. So a quick explanation of what this is all about. Think of a book or a manual or a, like a health and safety manual or an induction manual for a company where you have different people working on different sections. So a, a team could be working on the health and safety section. Another team could be working on the, the finance section of this, this manual or this book. You want them to work independently on those sections. But in this master document, you want to create links to those documents so you've got a cabinet if you like for every part and every element of the document so if I click insert I've already created these sub documents you can then bring these in it's asking me to do I want to keep the um, style so I'm just going to say no to all and then you see that document comes in as shown I'm just going to do that for each one so insert so that was admin finance no to all, insert, health and safety, no to all, and then lastly, insert production, no to all. So now I have all four documents there. If I click collapse documents, you can see the hyperlinks have been created to those documents. And if I click on any of these, which I'll do shortly, you will go into the original document. Now, if I go view on this one, in fact, before I do that, I'll expand all these again. The benefit of doing this, I can create a table of contents, for example, in this document, in this master document, which will cover all four of the sub documents, which I will do now. So I've put that in the wrong place. So I'll just undo that myself in the right place at the top insert table of contents and there you get a table of contents which covers all four documents now if I go view print layout so you see this is a normal document you'll see all the sub documents appear in one single document all the way down the table of contents update table if I need to just make sure the numbers are correct so that refresh there and then if I save this and then go back into view outline you'll see the table of contents sits there in outline view and there's the documents and if I collapse the documents and have a look again there they sit as hyperlinks so uh, this one, admin, if I go into admin, so I'm opening up the original document. I'm just going to change something to take the S off that, for example. So this would simulate me working or a team working on this document. If I save that one and then close this document down, I'll come back to the, to the master document. And then if I expand all of this, you will see or you should see that that S has been removed. So this is just a cabinet to store elements. It's a very, very good, useful tool. You just need to play around with it to make sure you you understand how it works. But that's the end of this session. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for your time.